Hello my dear students. I am again back with ICC 9th Maths. Chapter name is Simultaneous Linear Equations. We started doing the problem sums and in the previous videos I have covered type 1, type 2, type 3 and type 4 all based on numbers. Today I am going to start with type 5 that is problems based on money. My name is Arpita Banerjee and you are watching Arpita classes. Let's get started. So problem based on money today, type 5. The first question is, the monthly incomes of A and B are in the ratio 3 is to 4 and then monthly expenditures are in the ratio 5 is to 7. If each saves rupees 5000 per month, find the monthly income of each. So let us first write down, let the monthly income of A is rupees x and b is rupees y always write with few names okay rupees x and rupees y now the monthly income are in the ratio 3 is to 4 so according to the question my first equation becomes x upon y is equal to 3 upon 4 or from here i can write 4x is equal to 3y let it be like this. Let us see what is uh, coming in the next part. Their monthly expenditures are in the ratio 5 is to 7. And if each saves rupees 5000 per month. So if I take income minus savings, the expenditure will come. Right? So I will just write down is expenditure, is monthly expenditure. Okay? Is monthly expenditure, I am writing EXP for expenditure is equal to income that is X minus the savings that is 5000 rupees this much. I should write here rupees is equal to rupees X minus 5000 and B's monthly expenditure is equal to rupees Y minus 5000. Now we will apply the condition that is the ratio of the expenditure is 5 is to 7. So I write it here according to the question x minus 5000 upon y minus 5000 is equal to 5 upon 7. This is my second equation. Now let us cross multiply 7 whole into x minus 5000 is equal to 5 whole into, this is 5, 5 whole into y minus 5000. So it is 7x minus 35000 is equal to 5y minus 25000. Therefore I get 7x minus 5y is minus 25000 plus 35,000. I got 35,000 to the other side. So I'm getting 7x minus 5y is equal to 10,000. This is my equation number 2. So my equation number 1 is 4x equal to 3y and equation number 2 is 7x minus 5y is equal to 10,000. Okay, now we have to solve these two equations. So you can use any of the better substitution elimination or cross multiplication. Okay. Let me take this equation in the next page. So I got what is the previous uh, this is 4x equal to 3y. Okay. So the first one is 4x is equal to 3y. This is my first equation and the second equation was 7x minus 5y is equal to 10,000. So it is oh. Oh, it's gone. Okay, so I'll write it again. Uh, okay, so I'll just erase this part, okay? Yeah. So, from here, I'll write x is equal to 3y upon 4. So, I uh, got the value of x from this equation. And now, I'll be putting that value in the second equation putting x is equal to 3y upon 4 in equation 2 
So my equation two is my equation two is seven uh, x. So seven into three by upon four minus five by is ten thousand. So we have to solve this now. So this is seven into three twenty one y upon four minus five y is equal to ten thousand. I'm doing it on the other side. I'm taking four as the LCM. So if I take four as the LCM, it's twenty one y minus twenty y is equal to ten thousand. So it is twenty one y minus twenty y is y. Y is equal. I'm getting for that side, so that is forty thousand. So the value of y is forty thousand. I'll put it here. Therefore, putting y is equal to forty thousand in equation one. X is equal to three into forty thousand divided by four. So this is. Thirty thousand x is equal to thirty thousand. So we took x as a's income. So a's income is rupees thirty thousand, and b's income is rupees forty thousand. Let's proceed towards the next sum now. The second sum says taxi charges in a city consist of a fixed charges and the remaining depending on the distance travelled in kilometer. If a person travels seventy kilometer, he pays rupees one one three zero, and for distance distance. Traveling hundred kilometer, he pays rupees fifteen hundred and fifty. Find the fixed charges and the rate per kilometer. So let us consider. Let the fixed charge be rupees x and charge per kilometer, or you can write rate per kilometer also. Rate per kilometer is rupees y. Okay, now the person is uh, paying one one three zero for seventy kilometer. Okay, so for seventy kilometer, the fixed charge is x. Okay, so uh, it is x plus seventy kilometer. So seventy into y is equal to one one three zero. He totally pays one one three zero. This is a fixed charge which he has to pay, and for seventy kilometer. Per kilometer charge is y, so for 70 kilometer 70y. So the whole charge is x plus 70y is equal to 1130. This is the first equation, and the second equation is for 100 kilometer he pays rupees 1550. So for 100 kilometer it will be x plus 100y is equal to 1550. This is my second equation. Now I'll be subtracting the two equations since x has the same coefficient. So once I subtract the signs of the second equation, we we'll get change. This is minus. This is minus, and even this is minus. X and x is cancel. This is minus 30y is equal to minus uh, 113. So 1550 minus 1130. So that is 024, uh, 420. Right? Yeah. So minus and minus cancels. Y is equal to 420 upon 30. This is getting cancelled, so this is 14. So the value of y is 14. That means rate per kilometer is 14 rupees. Now putting putting y is equal to 14 in equation and putting in one only. So x plus 70 into 14 is equal to 1130. Okay, I just put the value of y. So now this is x plus 980 is equal to 1130. So x is equal to 1130 minus 980. So that is zero 150. So the fixed charge is rupees 150. Therefore, you have to write. Therefore, the fixed charges is rupees 150. Mm-hmm. Rupees one fifty and rate per kilometer is rupees forty. Okay, so this is the sum. Let's see towards the next question. Question number three: A part of monthly hostel charges in a school is fixed, and the remaining depends on the number of days one has taken food in the hostel, uh, in the mess. 
when a, a student a takes food for 23 days he has to pay rupees 4730 as hostel charges whereas a student b who takes food for 30 days pays rupees 5850 as hostel charges find the fixed charges and the cost of the food per day so uh, here also it is the same question just like the previous sum let the uh, fixed charges b b rupees x and the cost of food per day is rupees y now for the student a for student a student a takes food for 23 days so x he has to pay anyways x plus 23y is equal to he has to pay how much 4730 so 4730 this is my equation number 1 and the other student for b who has taken food for 30 days x plus 30y is equal to 5850 this is equation number 2 now we need to solve it since we see the coefficient of x is same so we will go for subtraction minus minus and minus This gets cancelled. This is minus seven y is equal to minus. Now we have to subtract five eight five zero four seven three zero. So this is one one two zero. So this one one two zero minus and minus gets cancelled. So y is equal to one one two zero upon seven. Seven one two three uh, seven seven eight nine ten eleven four two seven one sixty. So the value of y is equal to one sixty. Value of y is what? Food per day. So food per day is one sixty rupees. And the fixed charges. Now we have to put the value of y in, in any of the equation. So putting y is equal to one sixty in equation two. X plus thirty into one sixty is equal to five eight five zero. So x plus thirty into one sixty sixteen into three is four forty eight. So four eight zero zero is equal to five eight five zero. Therefore, x is equal to five eight five zero minus four eight zero zero. Let us subtract it here. Five eight five zero four eight zero zero. So that zero five zero one one zero five zero. Therefore, the fixed charges is rupees one zero five zero, and the charge per day is rupees one sixty. Okay, so this way we have to do the sums based on money. I will I will be doing uh, more sums on this in the next video. I will be coming up with more number of sums based on money. Thank you so much. If you feel these videos are uh, benefiting you, then please subscribe the channel and press the like button. Thank you. Stay tuned.